Well, it's time to get out the rakes and get some yard work done. But for some in the community, this spring cleaning is just too much work. Our Sarah Winkleman takes us to the Day of Caring in Little Falls to see how the community comes together to help out elderly homeowners. Mostly we're raking up all the leaves, pine cones, all kinds of stuff like that. So we can go get some more bags. I can call for more bags because I think we're going to beat that 100 bag record. Bags, bags, and more bags lined the streets after the volunteers were done at each location. It's all about service, you know, um, having a servant's heart, I think is ultimately our goal for everything. Service with a smile, brought on by students and community members alike. Our community would not be the quality it is without caring for others and so sending that message about how important it is that we're looking beyond ourselves, really looking to what needs are out there and to recognize that it can be something very simple to care to help someone else. The students were able to make a lasting impact on many community members all by just picking up a rake. It's wonderful. I don't know what we would do without them because this is such a big yard. Homeowners Lola and Jim both have physical restrictions that prevent them from working on their own yard. But lucky for them, there are nearly 800 high school students willing to help out. Today is the best attendance day we have every year. Kids do not want to miss the day of caring. It really just warms my heart to know that all of these people, I mean we have over 180 residents that were helping out today and I mean it's awesome to know that we're all out here doing the same thing I mean helping everybody out. A lesson of gratitude taught on this day of caring. It's fun to see them out of the classroom and take leadership roles and kind of help each other out and um, also get to know people in our community that they wouldn't normally meet. Like Lola and Jim who are happy to reward the students with some homemade cookies after a hard day's work. I don't know what we do without the kids coming. They just do such a wonderful job. Reporting in Little Falls, Sarah Winkleman, Lakeland News. And this was the 8th Annual Day of Caring. It, it will take place again in early May next year. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.